and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because we are connecting to the sign of Pisces for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, wherever you have that Pisces placement in your chart. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's get right into it, Pisces. Again, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, but it can be applied to wherever you have the Pisces in your chart. Let's get right into it. What are you guys are going through during this time? I don't think I properly put that sentence together, but it's fine. <laughs> What's going on for Pisces? What's going on for Pisces? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Wow, guys. Wow such a positive freaking spread already okay so we have abundance inspiration and celebration and then we have believe in the magic and flourish honey let's start here because you're definitely gonna have to believe this is coming because we got all this crazy good energy for you guys believe in the magic open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern lights says that you're part of nature so you are magical too wow Wow. This is also about accepting yourself and accepting that you're magical and that you have power within and not always looking to outside sources to either validate you or to give you your power, but to just tap into the natural power that you have instead of waiting for someone to tell you that you have said power, just realizing, um, you know, lifting the veil over your your own lies pulling back the curtain take a look a <laughs> i always got to put some drake in there i honestly I, I really can't help it okay so flourish uh the lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas in your life or those of others so yeah this is allowing yourself to flourish but you have to first kind of pluck out any energies that are not in alignment with that flourishing energy you know Honestly, I see you guys doing better just on period. Like I see you guys doing really good. I don't even feel like any sort of negative energy attached to you at this time. I feel like you guys are free for the most part. And if you are experiencing those lower vibrations or negative energy, it's really a matter of believing in the magic because it is coming through, honey. Okay, inspiration. Uh, be prepared as you will soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration come dusk or dawn she can call at any time so you guys may feel inspired now I will say this is typically a call to action so if you feel like a little bout of inspiration definitely definitely take advantage of it definitely feed into it allow yourself to immerse yourself into that inspiration if you feel like a new idea coming on go for it immediately you know this is that kind of energy where it's like you don't want to miss the blessings that are being given to you at this time so definitely allow yourself to feed into that inspiration all right abundance Woo! this is such good energy okay prepare yourself for incoming abundance release any mental blocks that's what we were talking about before um, that you have in fairyland and in human land there is enough abundance for everyone so wow Pisces you guys wow Wow, 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 wow. I already have some assumptions. I'm not going to say them. I'm just going to see how this reading unfolds because I have some assumptions about what's going to happen because you guys are experiencing such abundance. Just makes me wonder. We'll keep going. <laughs> and then we have celebration. Um, get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out and to dance and play. An invitation can be on the way. Ooh, yeah, this is what I was, you know, picking up on a little bit because I was like, usually this is like, you know, bees to honey. This is like, you know, bees, or wait, <laughs> I think it's bears to honey. <laughs> but it's like, you know, once you start to get all this abundance, you typically do start to attract energy. So you may, you know, start to attract some people from the past, some old friends. Friends, you know your current friends may you know start to get closer to you <clears throat> you may be attracting some new people in your life and I'm not saying that any of it is bad I'm not saying that any of it is bad but just be prepared for that if you're more of an introverted you know Pisces you may not be used to all these you know people wanting to be around you okay so we have the ace of cups the world in reverse 
so funny how the world works and then the three of wands and the knight of pentacles seriously pisces this is coming through release <coughs> This is coming through release. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords in reverse. Or I'm sorry, Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. You guys release the way that this has to happen. And through that, that's how you get all the abundance. The world in reverse lets me know that this is happening in a very unexpected kind of way. You still have that Ace of Cups. You have exactly what you were wanting. But it's not coming through in the way or the method that you wanted it to come through. Or that you expected it to come through. It's coming through in a very miraculous kind of, you know, really random way, really. But with this world card in reverse, this just lets me know that there is a like a need for you guys to kind of release how this abundance come through comes through and to just honestly and truly believe in the magic and trust that it's going to happen, not you know how it's gonna happen because sometimes things just you know happen in the craziest kind of ways and we end up getting exactly what we want we end up getting exactly or being exactly in alignment with what it is that we had wanted before but it just happens in a way that we didn't expect it to but we're still getting exactly what we want with the three of wands in reverse this lets me know you don't have to choose the direction um you know or i'm sorry the method in which this comes through just know what direction you want to go in know what abundance you're you're looking for what kind of abundance whether it's love or money and then just allow it to unfold fold you don't have to queen of wands it and be so so in control at this time <clears throat> you know that knight of pentacles that's definitely that inspiration energy i feel like you guys are getting like a million dollar idea pisces i do it's an opportunity to flourish, it's abundance, it's bringing you new friends and fun. You know, honestly, this feels like fame. Some of you guys may be experiencing some fame. Maybe you're being discovered by, you know, someone off of social media, or um, maybe you're just coming up literally like with a million dollar idea, doing something super unique that no one has done yet. <laughs> so we have soulmate, love yourself first, and deception. Ooh, this is what I was talking about, but I didn't want to take it there. I didn't want to take it there, but this does typically happen. I'm not surprised to see it. I'll say that someone is wearing a uh, a false self mask in this relationship with this deception card you know like i was saying before it's like bears to honey like when you start to receive all this abundance you've done all this work for it pisces and it's like someone is very attracted to that so they're telling you things that you want to hear or they're telling you things that aren't true about themselves or what they have the ability to provide so that they don't lose you but they're being deceitful that's not i'm, I'm not sensing that is truly something that they have the ability to give to you pisces i feel like they just want to tell you that they can give you this or provide you with this certain kind of life or this certain kind of love so they can you know get some of this abundance which is why it's important for you guys to be careful like I see you guys celebrating having some fun but at the same time it's like when you're a light you're gonna attract all sorts of bugs some bugs help the ecosystem some are just more annoying you know love yourself first is going to be very very important um your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive is what it says at the bottom of this so you got to remember pisces you guys are the prize in this situation you are the prize people are attracted to you so why is it how does this happen like how do we end up being afraid of losing something or how do we end up operating out of a place of fear when people are attracted to us like, how does that happen? Like, I need to spend some time thinking about that myself, or maybe y'all can um, let me know what you've just, uh, you know, discovered through your own experience. But why does that happen? Like, people will initiate conversations or initiate contact with us, and then all of a sudden, the energy just flips. And it's like, you came up to me and showed interest. So why is it all of a sudden, like, I'm the one begging for your attention? How does that happen? Anyways, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate is what it says at the bottom of that card. Ooh, and I'm, I'm not even going to, you know, hold, I ain't even going to hold you, Pisces. That does not feel like a different energy. That does not feel like someone that we haven't been talking about here. So this person wearing this false self mask may be a soulmate. The thing about wearing a mask is a lot of people wear masks because they're afraid that people won't like them for who they truly are. So I will say this, love yourself first, make sure you set boundaries. But even this person who's wearing this false self mask, that doesn't mean that they're not your person you know but a lot of people are so afraid of you know displaying their own uniqueness that they'll put on this mask that's one size fit all just to become you know or appear more appealing so 
yeah i definitely feel that soulmate energy because you're gonna have to help break that down within them um but at the same time you're you're gonna have to make sure they don't just you know settle and get too comfortable in that energy of wearing that false self mask it's like you either gotta take it off or you gotta you know i don't know y'all have to decide that at that point what you want to do but all right let's keep going i'm using alice love exists visions you can find her here on youtube um I'm using her romance deck. She made a romance oracle deck, which I think is so cool. So I'm using that today. Oh, we have a couple that flipped. Oh my goodness, that is so crazy. So we have you fuel my creativity. My intentions can be selfish at times and they are not you. <laughs> This is literally what I was picking up on Pisces. First of all, we have they are not you. So yeah, there may be a past energy trying to come up because they've experienced another person. They may have left you for another person. Now they're back attracted to you like bees to honey. I should just label this like bees to honey. Um, but now they're back attracted to you because they see you guys going into all of this abundance and they're like, this person that I've been dealing with, they are not you. They're seeing the amazing lengths that you're going. They're seeing all the abundance that you're having and they're like, what the heck? did I do why did I involve myself with this other person why did I leave my Pisces um, but you know my intentions can be selfish at times that's what I was picking up on as well because I was like okay but listen at the same time this person is coming through with some deceitful energy so to be honest I don't like that combination you fuel my creativity I feel like you guys are getting a bout of inspiration and it's causing you to get into this go-getter energy or it's causing you to just put action but behind this idea that you've always kind of had and someone is seeing wow she has all this or he has all this creative energy around them they're doing big things I want a piece of that I want to be involved in that um and they're you know wanting to use you for your creative you know energy and that's not fair that's not fair um, but they basically see you as a light. They see you for the light that you are. And yeah, guys, they, they want a piece of that. Okay. Let's see what else comes through. the new moon in Pisces <laughs> so your energy came up here yeah this is very you centric this is all about you like this is your time I would not give, and it's not about giving your time up to anyone but I would not give your your spotlight to anyone it's hard to even explain for some of you it's gonna be spotlight because I see a little bit of fame energy I feel here like some of you guys may experience some um, you know like hmm you know some sort of fame in some way whether it's you know from social media or you know real world kind of fame like through shoot movies tv i don't know whatever but somebody wants to attach to that which isn't necessarily a bad thing that's human nature of course you want to go towards things that you know are positive and happy but it's just about making sure the energy is balanced so someone doesn't just use you to fuel their creativity and they don't give any cyclical kind of energy where they're benefiting but they're also receiving like and you too you want to benefit um Oh, did I even say that right? You want to benefit, but you also want to make sure you're, you know, giving to some degree. New moon in Pisces and the new moon in Libra and not a lot of new moon energy. And then we have the full moon and the first quarter moon. So yeah, guys, this is, this is a little bit of a test and a blessing. Um, first quarter moon at the bottom of this card, it says your commitment is being tested. So the universe is like, how committed are you to yourself? How are you, how committed are you to your own abundance? Because I'm putting all this abundance in your, 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 I won't say in your way, but putting all this abundance on your plate, this is exactly what you've been waiting for, exactly what you've been asking for. How how are you going to deal with it, though? This commitment, Pisces, is for one, your commitment to this new idea or to this dream that you've always had, but for two, your commitment to yourself. Are you going to allow your, you know, original plan or your, you know, hmm, 
like are you going to allow yourself to be sidetracked by what this person wants because they're not in complete alignment i do feel like you can help them get in alignment by not feeding into those lower vibrational energies not feeding into them you know wanting to just put on their mask and pretend to be something that they're not i feel like you can help them with that but your commitment is being tested like are you just so hungry for you know love or for success that you know you just get lost in the sauce and excited and you lose all the discipline it's about balance um full moon surrender to the divine the divine has its hand on your neck honey it's like sitting here like what are you going to do are you truly ready for this new phase regardless we have the new moon in libra so a new romantic cycle begins that's what i was saying before it doesn't feel like pisces you know you're having to kick this person out and you know I would tell you <laughs> because I'm like, mm, no, like I'm the first person to be like, nah, this ain't it. But I'm not feeling that. I feel like this is a soulmate. So to a degree, they are benefiting you and they're meant to be in your life. But it's like, are we going to do this the right way or the wrong way? New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. You guys are very thoughtful. Very, very, very thoughtful. Tap into that thoughtful um, Piscean energy to help you. All right, let's keep going. We have Paul the Venetian. Yeah, we keep getting this reoccurring theme that you guys are about to be blessed. Blessed, 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 blessed. Okay, so we have Paul the Venetian, uh, the Shekinah. Yep. And Sir Nunels. Paul the Venetian with experiencing great grace, the Shekinah with sacred self, and Sir Nunos with life force. So let's start with experiencing grace with Mr. Paul. Um, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming towards you guys. There's so much synchronicity in your spread. I absolutely love it. This is gorgeous. This is a very, very, very nice uplifting spread. And it's so nice to have this uplifting energy, um, you know, with everything going on that we're being faced with. And then we have the Shekinah with sacred self. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yeah, there's definitely like this energy. It feels very creative, Pisces. I'm not even gonna hold you. Some of you guys really do feel like your goal is just to do something, you know, like very dependable. Like some of you guys wanna go to school for accounting or something to do with math, something very technical. Um, but for the majority of the Pisces that are tapped in right now, I'm really getting like this creative special gift that you have. And you can even have a nine to five and have a special gift. It's a special gift for you to be so great at math. You know, not everyone can like break down and just sit there and look at numbers all day, but that is a gift if you have the ability to do that. And if that's your niche, this is about feeding into it regardless of what it is. Sir Nunos, I may or may not be pronouncing that correctly. I don't know. Um, life force, express your driving passion. Sensual powers are increased. So you guys may feel, you know, you may be feeling yourself right now. I'm feeling my feeling, I'm feeling myself. You guys may be feeling yourself right now, um, but this is about tapping into that life force energy, that creative energy, and channeling it in the best possible direction, in the best possible way. This feels great, Pisces. This feels great. I'm loving this energy. Oof, goodness. Okay, I'm not taking all of those. I'll take that one. Just because that one was really pulling at me. But so far we have the cat spirit and the lizard spirit. Oh, and we have, okay, fine. No, 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 no. I just put them wrong, put them in wrong. Okay. Okay, <laughs> these cards really want to jump out and give you your message, Pisces. Okay, so we have, yeah, we have the skunk spirit, the lizard spirit, and the cat spirit. Oh my goodness, I am gagging. Like your spread is literally so synchronistic and on point today. Skunk spirit, at the bottom of this card, it says know your worth. Didn't we literally get the love yourself? <laughs> First card that says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we got the skunk spirit card, know your worth. Yeah, this is about not compromising what you want. And then we have the cat spirit. At the bottom of that card, it says claim your independence. So this is about thinking independently. It's not necessarily about saying no to a, to a relationship or you know anything like that. This is just about you know claiming your independence. 
thinking independently, not thinking about what everyone else wants at this time because this is your time, this is your day, this is your blessing. If you choose to share it, fine, but making sure that you're sharing it with someone who's not wearing a mask and just telling you what you want to hear. You don't want a yes man. You want someone who's balanced and who truly loves you. And then we have the lizard spirit, dream the world into being. This is really just about taking that bout of inspiration that you're getting to, you know, put it towards what it is that you're wanting in your life and being action oriented about it. But Pisces, wow, this is such a powerful spread. I love this for you guys. DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.